Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Haunted Manor Challenge, where we are here with our young budding medium, Griffin Green, as he is doing his best to figure out how to break the curse that is on this Haunted Manor, keeping all of the seven other sims trapped, and he's also doing his best uh, to try to figure out how to keep everybody alive, which is a little trickier now that he's learned that a few of them aren't exactly human, like these several vampires who are currently stalking about the territory, feeling extremely hungry. I think Jarl is about to, oh, there he goes again. Jarl's about to lose control of his ability to, uh, to like control his vampire hunger because he's getting extremely parched. So we need to find a way to feed him. And since we can't control him, that is all up to what Griffin is going to be able to do. And it looks like thankfully the other humans who are here? Well, we know that Lonnie's actually a mermaid, but I don't think Griffin has caught on to that just yet. But thankfully, they've actually found the food that we've put out with the grand breakfast that Griffin made, since the kitchen is now cursed, since we had one night where the curse of the haunted manor increased and transformed the kitchen into this absolutely terrifying... Let's get this whole room lit up. There we go. But transform the kitchen into this absolutely terrifying dump. And only Griffin can get in here to be able to prepare food for the Sims who do eat food. However, we did manage to do that last time, which is good. Also, we survived a fire that kind of started up. And now he's going ahead and he has found a vampire volume, a vampiric volume. Number one, origin of the vampire species, early history, and alternative food sources. And it looks like he is just chugging through that really quickly and feeling super confident, which is great. We also, I'm going to try to complete as much of the Chief of Mischief skill as I can. I've actually never tried to fully complete the Chief of Mischief skill, but I think if we can do that before the end of 13 nights is up and the clock strikes 12 and the curse is potentially lifted. Um, but I think if we can complete that, then I'll say that we have completed this challenge. I'm also trying to keep everybody alive. So far, that's proving a little too easy to do. So we'll have to see if the curse deepens at midnight yet again. But let me check what we need to do in order to make the Chief of Mischief challenge, or like the, get the Chief of Mischief going. Because I want him to start being disliked by Sims, but ideally I'm going to try to have him be disliked by the ghost that we can summon. Because he can now summon the dead with his medium skill. So that's another thing that we're going to do to try to make this place a little bit creepier and a little bit more haunted. Come on, I want a real challenge here! I'm trying to really get it like kind of tense. So I think one of the things actually on that note that we're going to start doing to make the challenge even harder is not only will they have a chance of things becoming deadlier every night, but we might also see if the curse decides to pick a like need that sims often have filled and make that even more difficult. Like maybe it'll end up taking away most of of the toilets in the whole the whole haunted manor and the bathrooms will be taken over oh that'd actually be really cool if the bathrooms were actually taken over by the little ectoplasm beast that we have <laughs> So that is definitely an option that we might see coming up in the near future. Um, and then Griffin, I also want him to go ahead and, like I said, Chief of Mischief, never done it before. What does it do? What does it give us? The Tormentor. Tormentors can sabotage almost anything, be it an object or another Sim's best efforts. Oh, that'd be so useful to have someone be able to break an object. That'd actually be a hilarious thing to go ahead and give to like maybe a technophobe Sim, so that then every time they tried to mess with electronics, it just like broke under their hands. Hands. That would help a lot of my sims in other legacies and stories be able to level up their handiness skill. All right. So be disliked by two ghosts is what our goal will be. Use computer to cause mischief three times. Achieve mischief level three. So we might go ahead and have him get a computer just briefly to complete that. In fact, we might get one computer, but lock it so that only he can use it. And then pull 10 pranks. Huh. I wonder how you pull pranks. I've actually never even tried to pull pranks. Maybe it's just like the prank interactions. Achieve level six of mischief skill. Clog drain at three different homes. <laughs> okay, that might be a little tricky. We might have to just like let that one. Mm, maybe we'll figure it out. We'll figure out how we're going to do that 
because he can't exactly leave this place. So we might come up with a creative way to to make that be fulfilled and then perform voodoo five times. Oh, voodoo and achieve level 10 of the mischief skill. That would be really cool if he could do all those things against a ghost, like just be the, the chief of mischief of ghost. And meanwhile, right now he is learning, ooh, vampire lore, oh, plasma packs discovered. Griffin discovered that there is an alternative method for vampires to satisfy their thirst. He can now order plasma packs on the computer. And I think you can also make, what? And Yarl can now do backflips? He's just trying to get his thirst taken care of by doing backflips and dancing in here. Yarl, dang! I don't even know where the stereo is, but he's just living it up in here. Oh, it's way up here! Wow, he's trying very hard to control his parched thirst. And now he's just gonna like clean up everybody's breakfast. Yarl is just like having a good time over here. All right, Griffin, let's actually figure out what to do with you then. Because now you're you're gonna try to go ahead and dance too? No, 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 no. Also, I think the dancing is actually slowing us down, but maybe we can at least change this. Listen to, no, not electronica. Look, if we're gonna have something in here, it's gotta be something that fits the spooky. We could do spooky music. Let's Let's switch it to spooky for a little bit. What? And this actually controls the temperature in the house. All right. We're gonna have to see what the curse thinks about that. I think the house is annoyed that it's not been able to like kill off any sims or make things more deadly So we're gonna change the music to spooky real quick and then now I think with the vampire lore we can actually go ahead and I think we can turn fish into plasma packs, so let's come out here and I can have Griffin do a little bit of fishing outside really quickly Oh, we could actually fish together with someone. Here, let's let's have him fish together with Jarl. Because Jarl is really thirsty and we're trying really hard to go ahead and help him out. And now Griffin has the dancing skill. So he's learning the dancing skill, I'm saying, from Jarl, who hears like spooky, creepy music and is not deterred. All right, this place is so big. All right, they're headed out. Because I think if you get a fish once you have level three. Jordan, now Jordan's dancing too? Oh my gosh. I wonder what all of the ghosts are going to think about that. All right, Jarl. Doing a little bit of fishing in this, this creepy pond. And if we can catch some fish in here, which is a really cool... Look at this place. It's all covered in algae. That's so cool. It has big old giant big old giant log over here but if we can catch a fish over here we'll see if we can turn it into a plasma pack and if we can give it to Jarl that might take the edge off his hunger for now but I'm not sure how often vampires have to feed and I'm not sure if their feeding is actually going to threaten the other sims because I just feel like everybody is way too comfy is our mermaid snoozing? our mermaid's off to go snooze she wants to kiss someone from having a soulmate aspiration and how is our flirty vampire? Wow, for some reason, like, Ella just really loves hanging out. Oh, she's got such a cool dark form look. That is so awesome. But for some reason, she just really, really loves hanging out in the hot tub. Like, that's where she always is at. All right. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> yes! What? And Jarl actually caught treasure? I'm telling you guys, he's like broken with how awesome he's doing on this little expedition. Uh, but what did we just catch? What the heck? What is that fish? A cichlid! And Jarl caught a dragon fruit? What? That's amazing. Alright, so can I take this cichlid? I can mount the cichlid. So I can't change it into a plasma pack? Okay, maybe we need to do a little bit more reading on the vampire abilities in order to do that. All right, so that plan didn't work. We can order plasma packs on the phone, but that's not gonna work for us. So I think we need to learn a little bit more and be mischievous. We'll work on that against a ghost soon. I think we need to learn a little bit more about ye olde vampires if we want that to work. So let's come back up and continue. Oh wait, reread? Okay, so I think we've learned everything we can now. Yeah, reread the Vampire Encyclopedia. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to search inside the library for more information. 
And while I'm at it, I'm going to turn this off real quick because I think it's actually slowing us down. Oh, the curtains are drawn in here. I didn't even notice that. To make this place a little darker. Oh, hey, and now Jarl is just happily fishing for a little bit. So I wonder, can he actually? I'm not going to do it because he can create a plasma pack out of the fish. So I wonder if you can only do that if you're a vampire. And if that's the case, I wonder if we have... Oh, maybe we could feed the fish kind of to the vampires as a result. So maybe if Griffin can't make it because he is not a vampire. Let's see what vampire skill. A vampire lore of 15. Well, let's do some more reading first. All right, Griffin, let's go ahead and have you. We need to purchase another vampire tome. Number two should continue his research to unlock more vampire tones. Wait, I thought we already did can, like read everything we could about vampires. Hmm. Vampire lore is unlocked by researching the tomes. All right, well, let's go back over to our vampire tome. Hey, where'd my book go? Somebody took my book. Oh, man. Jordan, was it you? I think Jordan took my book. <laughs> All right, hopefully he just... Okay, he put it away in here. Thank goodness. You're okay, you're okay. Griffin is a little erratic, so sometimes he'll, he'll act a little odd. But we are going to try to make this even creepier and to really get the skills and everybody feeling a little bit more stressed. Meanwhile, Jarl's over here just catching tuna. That's excellent. Maybe what we'll do is if we bring the vampires fishing with us and they catch a fish or Griffin catches a fish, we can let them turn it into a plasma pack. But I want to see if maybe we can get our skill up high enough, which is going really quickly. He has a natural affinity for the occult, our Griffin does. Tell story to self. I think he's creeping himself out a little bit with all the vampire knowledge. Meanwhile, people are cleaning up. Oh, there's a coffee machine over here. I didn't even realize that. I think I might... Okay, I definitely heard a ghostly howl. Oh, Rana! Rana seems to have some unexpected visitors. Spiders, with no logical way to avoid their bite coming to mind. And no Dr. Parker's spider repellent within reach. She might have to deal with some creeping, maybe some crawling, and maybe even a little bit of biting. Oh, Rana, I hope you can't die from that. Okay. I'm pretty sure that that would freak anybody out. Pretty sure if you just had a bunch of spiders, like, fall from the sky in a haunted house, there'd be a little bit of screaming. Oh, there we go. Oh, she did get bit. Nope, nope, nope. From getting bit by a spider, could have used a spider repellent, could have outspired the spiders using logic, coulda, woulda, shoulda. And now she's off to go try to calm down. And now Ella is dancing. I have a feeling that the haunted house is going to be like, no dancing. I'm trying to like risk your guy's life. Griffin has read that some vampires have been observed turning into bats. Interesting, interesting. But I have a feeling that the haunted house is going to be a little frustrated because it's like, I am trying to make this place spooky and scary. And meanwhile, Jarl's catching rainbow fish. Yeah, I'm having a feeling that the... Oh, what's going on here? Ella is flirty. <gasps> Discovered plasma pack creation. While reading about vampires, Griffin learned the secret of converting fish and frogs into tasty plasma packs. Yes, okay, so now we can go ahead and do that for the hungry vampires. Yarl! He has been doing so good. Let's go ahead. First thing, let's take the fish that we, we caught with Yarl. And we can go ahead and create a plasma pack with it. Yes, there we go. Plasma pack, the highest quality plasma, filtered, carbonated, decarbonated, chlorinated, and a reverse osmosis filtered for your enjoyment. Excellent. Let's grab the book again so Jordan doesn't take it. I almost like the idea that Jordan was trying to take the book to, um, like, slow Griffin down. Whew. This lot is so big. All right, then let's come over and now we'll try giving a gift to Jarl. Of a plasma pack, so he has something to eat. And then we'll let him eat it if I have Griffin give it to him. Oh, heckin', Griffin, you've got a lot of stuff to dig through. All right, let's do this. Jarl, you're doing good. Meanwhile, Ella is feeling flirty, and she's thinking about getting to know Griffin. And everybody's starting to fight in here. You brats. Ah, 
If I could, I would turn this off because I think it's actually like lagging us. Also, there's like air conditioning in the haunted house. No, 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 no. I think the haunted house is going to definitely have a lot to say about that. And are people going to start fighting? Azuma's feeling really... She's recently bitten. I wish there was a mod that made it so that getting bitten by a vampire was a little more dangerous, but the only one I could find was like, yeah, you're dead. All right, all right. Come on, Griffin. Hopefully we'll be able to make this place even creepier, more deadly. But for now, we've learned a little bit more about vampires. Enjoy, Jarl! Hopefully we're just in time. And now, uh, oh, I think he's really thinking about eating, <laughs> eating Griffin. But now we'll go ahead and let him drink since he has a plasma pack made out of a fish. And I think actually, if we place it in the world, will he eat it? Let's let's find out real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and place it in the world. And I know, oh, he's doing laundry, Yarl. Like what? And then let's set Griffin to fishing again. So, Jarl, if you're hungry and there's a plasma pack right here, will you actually eat it? Yes. No, he just goes straight for emptying trash. All right, so if we make a plasma pack, I'll go ahead and allow the vampires to drink from it. Nope. There we go. Does that hit the spot? Did that help out at all? Oh, it totally did! So it looks like we need an average of like two plasma packs per hungry vampire. So we're going to need a lot of fish. And now Jarl's off to go dancing. I have a feeling the haunted house is going to say no dancing tonight. Oh, all of the lights are flickering. That's why we get a wee bit of lag here sometimes. Sorry about that, guys. We've got a powerful computer, but we've got a huge haunted mansion. Hey, another cichlid. Cool. Oh, and our gift was unappreciated. That's okay. That's just the way it goes with hungry vampires sometimes. All right, a couple more, and then we will have... Uh, then we'll be a little more reassured that the vampires won't go to, like, feast upon all of us. But night is coming. Ah, and Griffin's going to need to get his fishing skill up if that's going to be any good. But all right, let's see how everybody else is doing. Azuma's another one who doesn't seem to be having a bad time. However, and in fact, this might actually be really fun. If you guys want to help me figure out how to make the haunted house even more challenging and how to make it even more of a threat to our Sims, then you can start leaving some suggestions. You can, you can start playing the part of the haunted house. We'll find where everyone seems to be having a good time or relaxing a little bit too much. Maybe there's been a little too much yoga going on. Maybe there's been a little too much uh, drinking of the juice going on. Maybe it's kind of atrocious that someone actually has access to a dishwasher. Where the heck is their dishwasher? Maybe it's atrocious that like all of the vampires are having a dance party instead of being properly like freaked out. I do love our mermaid is just chilling though. All right. It's like everybody's just relaxing. And now we're tense over here. Lovelorn. Oh, and we have a lovelorn that, like, vampire who's just not feeling it. Maybe we need to get rid of the trash cans. How does death by flies work now? Hmm. All right, Griffin, you're trying to go take a nap. No nap for you, boy. We're going to send you upstairs. And we're going to go ahead and make for here. Can I make an espresso? Oh, we don't have enough money for that? Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. All right, let's go ahead and we'll get rid of some of his spinach and whatnot. And some of the flowers that we've collected. Maybe it's too easy to get flowers and we need to like block off the flowers. Um, and then let's make a cappuccino. And we'll get him caffeinated, up and going, ready for whatever battle comes forth. All right, everybody is too comfortable. We've got to make this more challenging. We've got to get the ghost really going. Is death by um, fear, like, even a thing? Everyone's taking care of the creepy haunted garden, but I feel like the haunted garden's almost too easy to work with. Huh. Maybe what we'll do is the garden might die, and then Griffin can get, like, a set of plant seeds to start working with? I'll have to think. We're leaving all of the creepy plasma, and we're leaving the ectoplasma in the bathroom, but still we seem to be struggling with getting enough done. 
All right, Ruby's coming on over to chat. She's getting a little thirsty. And apparently her laundry, like, the laundry is great because apparently Jarl has just been doing everybody's laundry while he's at, the, at it. This is just amazing. So what about being scared, you guys? Come on, it's a haunted house. All right, you know what? Let's try to get this really going. Ah, Ruby, are you hungry? Okay, here, we'll do our best. Here, we'll create a plasma pack and we'll try offering you one. All right, here, we'll go ahead and friendly gift. Straight for the jocular. Have a sim reach max in the comedy skill. Who and why? <laughs> All right. And then we're going to go ahead and try to give Ruby a plasma pack. What is up with all... Sorry about the faint lagging that's going on. Normally, that does not happen. But I think it's because the music is playing. Alright. And now we've got a plasma pack for Ruby. So hopefully that will take care of her needs. We'll let her go ahead and drink it. She didn't like it. I think she prefers... I think she doesn't want to drink fish, so she's a little annoyed that the edge of her hunger is being taken off with freaking fish, when what she really wants is some warm, fresh blood. Or warm, fresh plasma from others. Alright. Griffin, how could you be happy? Yeah, I know the vampires don't appreciate your gifts, but this is- Oh my good gravy! Where? Where's their fire? Where? Did it catch? It caught in here. Yarl, what are you doing, Yarl? Oh my gosh, it's Yarl. He went into the fire room. He like was risking his life. Yarl. Okay, thank you, Yarl. On the one hand, I was really worried this was getting a little bit too easy peasy. But on the other hand, I didn't want you to be able to like, be caught on fire. Like, look at what is going on. Of all of the sims, it had to be. Why you? You're the nicest. You've been doing everyone's laundry. Alright, well at least we're... This proof of concept is happening. And everyone's rushing to his... His... Phew! Everyone was rushing to his rescue. Alright, now is clearly hungry too, so we need to get something more there. Okay, now we're feeling confident. Jarl, you know what, dude? You're, you're pretty nice. Let's go ahead and maybe apologize. For what? I'm not sure. Ron is just gonna play in the ashes. <laughs> Alright. And let's ask about vampire history. Like, can vampires die by fire? We need to know. And then, let's enthuse about vampires. Uh, Von Flavis sells copies of the Vampi uh, Encyclopedia Vampirica. If you research on the computer, you can find the shop. Research long enough and you might find a copy of the Ultimate Vampire Compendium. I don't remember that. What? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Alright, it looks like it's haunting hour. Welcome back, Gudri. We might as well go, go ahead and say... Um, What's the deal with the specters? And then, oh, you can have him actually help you out with your needs? That's kind of cool. All right. Gudri, let's... I guess we could go ahead and try to somewhat befriend Gudri. Maybe we'll ask him about being dead. Sorry, Jarl. Gudri has just popped up and kind of demanded a little bit of attention. So the death... The dangers of this room catching on fire while Sims are trying to warm themselves up in here are still true. And then we'll just immediately launch into, like, asking about... Don't laugh at him! <laughs> Griffin, you're not supposed to laugh when someone tells you about, like, what it's like to be dead. Like, you've got a little bit of a thing against the ghost, I think. Alright. Not spooky enough. Not enough challenge. Even if Jarl did catch on fire. These sims are way too happy. Let's go ahead and check out what everybody's doing. So Jarl is feeling playful as usual. Azuma is really enjoying all of the gardening, so I'm beginning to think that we need to, like, get rid of all of these plants. Uh, they make things a little bit too easy, and maybe we'll leave behind, like, one seed packet, or make Griffin have to buy the seed packets through finding other things, like fishing. And we'll start there. 
Yeah, the garden seems to be distracting everyone and keeping them happy, which is not the danger, danger death that the haunted house thought was going to happen. The vampires are doing okay. They wouldn't even... Like, everyone's feeling super good on their needs, except for a certain flirty, hungry vampire. Griffin even managed to stop the fire. I think the haunted house is thinking, this is, this is not enough. This is not enough. We've got to make this more challenging. Got to make this more spooky. And I think Griffin's getting a little too sassy. Look at that smirk on his face. Yep. All right, guys. We're going to figure out how to make this even more challenging. And I think the answer is that everybody's a little too comfy. Everybody's a little too well-fed. Everybody's a little bit... Uh, a little bit too content with their life here, dancing the night away. And I do think that the curse is going to become even stronger next time when the clock strikes 12. And hopefully I will get to the bottom, I think it's the fountains and the music, of what's making the haunted house feel a little sluggish. But thank you guys so much for joining me. I know that this is a little bit of a slow start in some ways, but we're trying very hard to make a fun challenge Okay, and hearing a little sim girl just quietly singing to herself in the hallway. That's more like it! That's more like it! Oh my gosh, and now everybody is terrified because we just listened to somebody like scream, like, like singing quietly in the distance. This is more like it! <laughs> oh my gosh and look everybody's like headed to head under the covers now this is hilarious Ooh, and i hear something okay yeah all right i think that the i think the ghosts are starting to get a little bit more active here we'll have to see what we can do with that but all right guys thank you so much for joining me as we start to work on making this haunted the haunted house manor challenge a little bit more challenging if you guys could do please leave a like for griffin and his ability to at least stave off the worst of the vampire's hunger for now. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Where are we going here with our vampires? I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.